Welcome back to The Late Show, already in progress. Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest is an Emmy Award winner who returns this week as Carrie Matheson on Homeland. Found a stash. What the f***? What did you bring? Nothing. You said no phone, no wallet, nothing but the burner you gave me. Badge? Everything's in the car, which is back at the office. I walked. What about the burner? Did, did you leave it on your desk at work? Did you take off your jacket to go take a You have a tail. We have to go. We have to go now. Please welcome Claire Danes. Lovely dress. Well, thank you very much. Oh, we could also do this. You yeah. can slip some skin. Yeah, all right. Sure. All right. That's all right. absolutely lovely dress. Thank you. It feels a little Anne Boleyn. It kind of goes with the Catholic theme here. Sure, sure, sure. And all the stained glass yeah, and everything yeah, like that. Yeah. Anne Boleyn, not a great model. Well. <laughs> Just lop the head right off. But, you know, I guess she was attractive. Oh, sure. You enough, know. Enough, yeah. Enough, <laughs> enough to, you know, break off from the Catholic Church. Yeah. Well, so. yeah, but let's got not. Yeah, let's okay, not get okay. Let's let's, uh, let's um, deviate from now, that. Let, uh, 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 do you watch the Super Bowl? Did you? Do I that? did. I wa and I actually like watched this year. I didn't just like inhale nachos. Um, I mean, add, I did that too. Did you have a party? We did. We had a little gathering. Yeah, my yeah. husband cooked a, a, a feast, and we had, like six people came over. It was fun. Hey, I question the feast part of that. <laughs> I question the feast part of that. Your lovely husband, Hugh Dancy, yeah. who we've had on the show. Yes. Very nice fella. Yeah. Because you, and I don't know why you did this to him, you Instagrammed <laughs> out his menu for your feast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd like to show, like, yeah. I don't know how close you can get in because it's very difficult to read. This is his Super Bowl prep list. Yeah. This is it. It says, <laughs> it says 615, hold on, chili off oven, stir. <laughs> Uncover. I don't know how you stir, then uncover. Okay. Stir cilantro into chili. <laughs> then it says, food ready. <laughs> so that's the feast? It was. It was delicious. It I was bet delicious. it was. But what does this mean? This is what it says. The, this is the only other thing on the list. Balls. <laughs> I found it on the dining room table. I was like, what, what, what is this? He said, yeah, no, I realized I made a mistake. And then wrote balls to remind himself. Oh, in other words, don't do this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's cryptic still. I don't know, but it did amused me. Did he serve me. anything other than chili? <laughs> yes, he did. We had, we had short ribs on nachos, and we had a chicken wow. chili thing, and we had a vegetarian chili. No, we had mac and cheese and chili. It was great. Wow. It was never and ending. And he's from England, right? Yeah. So but he's been here for a while. But he understands Super Bowl food. It's not he like does. it's not figgy pudding or no. shepherd's pie or no. any of that stuff. No. Good. Yeah. You're yeah. very, you're very lucky. Who are you pulling for? Did you win? Oh, Eagles. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't know. You could have been I mean, from Boston. I yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I just was going for history making. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Um, and underdogging. And yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. My friend Rachel um, is from Philly too. We were watching. I was with her, so that was exciting well, that too. Yeah. That I helped. had a, you know, I could hitch my ride onto her train. Okay. Let's talk about uh, the train. I want to hitch my ride okay. to. Uh, I've spoken <laughs> to this before. Just... I'm a, I'm a mad fan for the homeland. Oh well, thanks. And uh, thanks. I'm so worried about Carrie oh, all the time. I know, as you, you should know. be. Yeah. <laughs> Are you, as you play her, are you worried for her? Um, well, she's survived for seven years, so that's, that's a pretty good record yeah. in, in Homeland but terms. Every man around her is dead, nope. though. Yep. Can't say as much for the male yeah. figures. Do not who... date Carrie. No. No, not a good idea. No, I mean, mm -hmm. I hope it's worth it, but um, I can't imagine it is. Um, yeah. Well, so... you, you've been, the show's been uh, incredibly uh, prescient. In, in years uh, before. Mm -hmm. uh, are there things we're going to learn about America or about our intelligence community six months from now 
that you'll be broadcasting on February 11th. I mean, what what is the thing? You can't tell me anything. What am I doing? I can ish. ish? I mean, I mean, I barely know. We're in the middle of filming, and so it's. You're still it's, this season. You're yeah, still yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I go back tomorrow to continue episode nine. We've, wow. Torn from today's headlines. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, so we're still at it, and um, but uh, we focus on kind of Russian interference and. What? <laughs> But that's, we know that's just a hoax. We know the Russian interference is just a hoax. Yeah. It's made up. It's a witch hunt. It is, it is. No, <laughs> I mean, they, no, I think we can accept that yeah. they have been involved in, um, in determining our fate to a certain extent. Huh? But they Does exploit... it turn out better in your world than it did in ours? <laughs> Because the president's Maybe. iffy, your president's iffy, our, too. Our show used to be a kind of horrifying vision of what could be, and now it's like a tonic. It's like, <laughs> it's like a little escapism. Ooh, cuddle up with your bunny, you know. Um, yeah, so it's hard to compete with the reality. Yeah, um, I know the feeling. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now one of the things that you do, do you do this every season where you go get to spend some time with some actual we spies? Do, we do, It's like the coolest part of my job. Who sets that up? Who calls the CIA and goes, we just like to come in and hang out with you yeah, guys? Yeah, so Henry Bermel, who is one of our founding fathers of Homeland, one of our writers, passed away a, few, a number of years ago, but his dad was in the CIA and his cousin was a mentee of his father's and was also in the CIA, a very accomplished person there. And he recently retired, but in his retirement, he curates this week-long Spy camp for us uh, producers and writers and really yeah is it like you yeah know... so we park ourselves in a, a club in Georgetown and talk to like real spooks and you know so, people in the intelligence community and and the State Department and journalists and people who really what do they tell you that like what, what's the most surprising thing that they've told you about their jobs or something you would need to know for well the every year it's different right we've been okay. at it for a while and and the climate has been has changed but this year it was all about you know the distrust between the administration and and the intelligence world and um, and the intelligence community was suddenly kind of allying itself with journalists, which well, usually how they're long not. How did you start shooting this, uh, this season? How long? Uh, ago? We started in uh, late August, September. Because things didn't really go south between the uh, the present uh, real administration and the intelligence community until the fall. There wasn't great faith at the very beginning. I don't think. But to, yeah. Yeah. Really? Well, I mean, yeah, the open the open hostility really started this past fall. I thought. Yeah. Well, I think maybe it wasn't so open, but it was real. And these people knew about it, yeah. and they told you, and you put it into a script. Yeah. I mean, he didn't. He wasn't so eager to populate the, mm -hmm. you know, the State Department. I'd things. like to figure out what I'm going to make jokes about in about four months. Could I read any of the scripts that you got um, coming up? It just save so much I don't know. So Look, I mean, time. we, we're, it's not an it's not an exact mirror, um, but it is a. a, a, a a riffing um, mm -hmm. on what is happening. It's like a parallel vision. How do you keep your balance playing someone who is mentally unstable, um, dealing with constant threats to the United States, um, and uh, you're in that head for you know months at a time every day when you're working? What is it? What is it you do to keep yourself uh, calm? I knit. <laughs> I do. Okay. I knit. Yeah. I do. I knit. And I speak. We have several members of the knitting community here. Do tonight. you? The knitting yeah. community? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. we're called, we're, yeah. Go ahead. We're called Pearl Girls. No. Yeah, really? we are. That sounds like something you would call Anne Boleyn. <laughs> Is this what's going on here? Yeah, that's a Pearl Girl. That's, that's Pearl Rachel. Girl. That's my Philly. Okay. Lady. That's um, you. But this is you right here, yeah, right? That's me. Nice it's very dark Rachel. on a sound stage. What do you have? You have a headgear. Head, head I have I have I have a couple of different kinds of headgear. I've been, I'm into the the yeah, the the instruments. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. Are you good? I mean, no, but I'm enthusiastic. What's your what's your what's your goal? Like what would what would like if you could do well, this thing I like Well, I started out with scarves where one does. Of course, it's just a strip. I gave Mandy, I gave my, Mandy my first effort at a rib stitch and it's uh was pretty disastrous. What's a rib stitch? Oh, it's it, you know, it's when you can stretch it and I don't know. It's like ribs, like that. Totally. Um anyway, uh, it was rife with errors, and but he wears it everywhere. It's oh, very sweet. It's very, so nice. it's so dad. Um, yeah, but I gave it to him. I was like, please, this is for very remote locations. You can wear this in the country uh -huh. when you're on solitary yeah. walks. Could you make a sweater? 
Could you make a sweater if you had I to? I mean, maybe next season. I'm now, I'm now working in the round, so then it was from scarves to cowls to hats. Is with detachable pom-poms. <laughs> yeah. Would yeah. the hats have detachable pom-poms? A little cottage industry right there. If this you acting thing falls through, yeah, exactly, you're totally exactly. So no, yeah. well, Claire, lovely to see you again. Thanks, nice to see you too. Um, well, Homeland returns Sunday on Showtime. Claire Danes, everybody. We'll be right back with Bernadette. <laughs>